Yes, BK is getting absolutely nerfed to the ground in the next set of bounds changes. His super, instead of doubling the damage, it is now only going to give plus two damage to every unit on the board. This means units like the P.E.K.K.A will no longer do 48 damage. They'll do instead a little bit less, making the Barbarian King an easier hero to bounce. The Countess is getting a huge rework with her health and her damage both getting nerfed, but instead of the backstab mechanic where she does additional damage when attacking a unit from the back, she is now going to deal up to plus four damage to injured minis, which means minis all that have under 50% HP. This means the Countess will now be able to deal up to six damage. The Shield Maiden is also getting a major rework. Her super will now reflect 50% of the damage instead of the current 100%. When maxed out, her Clash ability will now deal 10 damage for 10 seconds to any unit in that 3x4 area. Her third ability is also getting redesigned where when she is about to be knocked out, she's going to get 50 shield and an instant super when maxed out. The Skeleton King is also getting his core super ability reworked. His super will now be able to spawn two Skeleton Guards on the board, but they're tuning the knockback and the stun effect from his super. The Wave Master is also getting his Clash ability reworked. Well, now when maxed out, his Clash ability will now be reworked where it will give shield, but also a rage effect when your Wave Master is maxed out. This will give more viability to your units that don't necessarily have a super and just create chaos on the back line. Heroes aren't the only ones getting reworked. We've got a couple of minis starting with the Archer. The Archer is also getting a redesign with this set of bound changes. Her attack speed per star is going to go from 0.15 to 0.1. Her second upgrade where her, the boast ability would give her twice as much damage will now be changed to twice as much hit speed instead of damage. Her third ability will no longer give an attack speed increase every time she receives a damage boost. Now she will only get plus 0.3 hit speed increase. The band is getting a little bit of a buff with her base attack speed increasing from 0.8 to 0.85. Her second ability daze is no longer going to slow but stun for one second. The Barbarian's base HP is going to go from 15 to 11. So a pretty significant nerf but his HP per star is going to be increased from 8 to 11, so his max health is going to go from 49 to 54. The Bowler's base HP is going to go from 18 to 20, and his third ability will now be changed to, instead from a plus 60% hit speed increase to plus 6 shield per enemy hit by his clash ability. The Ice Wizard is getting some buffs and nerfs with his base slow going from 30% to 35% decrease on the enemy's hit speed, but his range is going to be decreased from four tiles down to three. Her, his first ability will be reworked where any unit he slows will receive a minus one damage nerf. The Knight's Taunt ability will now happen faster and this will be able to catch the Miner. For his third ability, Provoke, his Taunt Duration bonus is going to be increased from plus two to plus four seconds. The Miner is getting significantly nerfed with his HP per star going from six down to four damage. His first ability will no longer have Backstab Instead, he will gain a boast ability, which will double his attack and also his movement speed for four seconds. The Minis P.E.K.K.A's second ability, Heavy Strike, is getting reworked, where now he will do plus two damage to healthy enemies. The Musketeer is getting a pretty significant rework, with her starting energy going from one down to zero. Her base super will now no longer stun enemies, but her super will now go off way faster than before, going from 1.2 seconds down to 0.5 seconds. Her first upgrade will now increase the stun bonus of her super from 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds. 
Her third ability will now be getting a rework, which will be a clash ability where she will get four energy in two seconds. The P.E.K.K.A. is getting a nerf to his third ability where now Heavier Blade will no longer give plus four attack damage boost, but instead plus three. Now the Royal Ghost is getting a significant rework where now his clash ability will no longer give invisibility to adjacent allies, but instead he will be the only one being invisible for six seconds instead of 2.5. His base HP is going from 12 to 16 and his HP per star is going from eight to nine. That's it for the October's bounce changes tomorrow. I will be doing a video comparing before and after comparison of every bounce change I just mentioned here. So see you guys in the arena. Later fellas.